Hola gente, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos al canal un día más. Vamos a seguir con Game of Thrones. Vamos a seguir dándole caña a esta maravillosa aventura. Si os acordáis, eh, habíamos visto como Ethan Forrester le, le ponía las pilas al líder de los, de los White Hill. Y como nuestro primer protagonista, Gareth, el, el escudero, era enviado al muro para que los Bolton no lo matasen. Entonces, bueno, ahora teníamos tomamos el papel de, de Mira de Mira Forrester, que está en Desembarco del Rey. Y vamos a ver qué. Vamos a ver qué se nos presenta por aquí. Vamos a ver. Juguemos. Continuar. Venga, va. Muy bien. A ver qué nos presenta la mira Forrester. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor, and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Vale, tomamos el control. Caja de Ironwood. Hmm. Si encontramos unos libros, una serie de monedas. Árbol Ironwood tallado. Ethan made this for me. Broche de alto jardín. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. <laughs> Lady Elena is a personage very cool. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. And una carta. Habrá que leerla. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. El día en que pueda algún día terminar esta carta, no creo. Desembarco del rey. Menudo sitio para estar más... Uf. Problemático y asqueroso. Tomo viejo lleno de polvo. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. Pues no sé yo, eh. <ríe> si los verás. Carta de madre. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Hmm. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Teníamos que haber mirado por la ventana primero, me parece a mí. Mira Forrester. Que no te voy a... ¿Y si no abrimos? Entran igualmente. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't want to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. ¿Qué quieres? A ver, Andrajo. Estos son todo espías. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. Estoy bien. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. No me fío nada de los niños Please estos. You can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. 
You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Perhaps you should come back later. Of course, my lady. <risa> Pobre. Igual luego es buen chaval. <risa> Pero de primeras no me fío de él, eh. <risa> Mola mucho la, la, el diseño cuando encorva las cejas como tristes. Hombre. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Marjorie. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. Eres muy amable. Y la de atrás que nos está espiando. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. No soy una cara de traidora. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Huh. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding. So Vamos a callar. Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. No sé yo tampoco si Marjorie será muy fiable. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Hmm. Y ahora vamos a ver al pepino de Cersei. Uno de los personajes que más me gusta de la serie, sin ningún tipo de duda. Oh, con otro, con el personaje por excelencia, Tyrion. ¿Qué se supone que tengo que ir yo andando? No me... <risas> Mira cómo nos miran. Ay. La Guardia Real. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. A arrodillarse ante ella. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Cómo me mola ser sei, Dios mío. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Nuestra lealtad nunca flaquea. Your loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. Yes, I see. And yet, for centuries the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark, a house of traitors. Vamos 
Vamos a callar. The girl is here to explain herself. Yet says nothing. <laughs> My apologies, your grace. I'm sure it's just a momentary lapse. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Ross Bolton también sirve a los Stark. <risa> and proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Madre mía, qué ácida es esta tía. Allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. El tiro mola This is monta. an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? <laughs> I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Claro que sí, tío. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves, pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? Pues un puñal para ponértelo a ti, ya sabes dónde. North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king That must be absolute, beyond question. Mm -hmm. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she the would. Let the girl answer the question. Go on. No habrá conflicto. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. <laughs> what do you choose. Lo siento, pero no puedo con Joffrey, así que voy a elegir a Lady Marjorie. Que te den por culo. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priority straight. Ah, pringada. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> Qué crack el tío. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. Morirá otra. Very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Uy, qué mal nos han mirado. A ver, Tyrion. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once. At the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. Sí, no eh? doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, <laughs> she will not soon forget what you said. 
It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. No intentaba complacer. Certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you hmm. willing to risk that? Hmm. It may be far too dangerous. Me la suda. The risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Total, vamos a morir todos. Now, ¿Qué más da? You'll excuse me. I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty. Espero que volvamos a vernos, hombre. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Qué crack. Qué crack el Tyrion. El personaje, mi personaje favorito. Yo creo que el personaje favorito del 90% de las personas que vemos Juego de Tronos. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked. Sois todos traidores. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish. Es muy guapo. He is quite handsome and quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Sí, aunque casarse con Joffrey vaya basura. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? No. He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. No, con I'd Joffrey. be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Nadie, well, nadie. I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and what are you doing? <laughs> well, Sarah, mi señora. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Qué pelota. People are not always so easy to please. 
If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Claro. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. A ver. Pedirle su ayuda. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Nos va a traicionar, pero bueno. Go on. Ask. Mi madre necesita nuestra ayuda. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. Hmm. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask you to intervene. Que os mando a la mierda, eh? That dire. You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Por favor, se lo ruego. Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. ¿Qué más da? I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out. El rey te adora. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does, not even his mother. Claro, hay que ser un poco Ramsay malo. Will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Yes. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. <risa> y ahora es cuando la mira le va a decir al otro No, la sera Camino real, bosque de los lobos Dice que es el Gareth Que va Al, mu al muro el pobre Madre mía. <risa> Estaba clarísimo Con lo foquetín que eres, hijo Seven elves. Hostia, el Ramsey, chaval. Qué asco me da esta tío. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise. <laughs> Like a drowning cat. Oh, Qué es el Ramsey, As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds. El desollado no tiene ningún. Didn't know your father is the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! Qué asco das, Ramsey! 
There. Oh, Dios mío. Hear that? I know I heard something. Quédase quieto. No te muevas, Gareth. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. <risa> Qué tensión, ya me imaginaba que no pasaría nada. Tenemos que haber corrido, a ver. <risa> este tío que está todo desollado, claro. Madre mía. Vaya pinta. Madre mía. Tío. Lo abrió enterito, tío. Pero ¿de qué va este? ¿Esto qué es el muro ya o...? Ah, no, esto es... La casa Forrester. As I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But three hundred generations of Forester lords stand behind you. Entiendo. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And what? ¿Cómo me llamarían a mí? <laughs> that is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Y claro, querrás que te elija a ti. Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Va. Lord Ethan. ¿Quién es este hombre? Who is this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed. We all fucking know it. Quiet thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Anda. Two shields and three spears. ¿No robaste? You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <risa> Leave the poor man alone. Se está agitando el pueblo, eh. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. No, tío. I'll never survive the coming winter. Cálmate. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Hmm. We can send him to the war. Leave the man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from you us. Must to make him pay for what he's done. Give us justice. Uh, fuck him. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. 
You'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Mostramos piedad al muro. Me cago en ti. Sentence you to the wall, where you will join the night's watch. Oh, please, my lord. My family. Without me, they'll die. No morirán, no. Nuevo logro desbloqueado. A large judgment. Y ahora mi hermana se va a enfadar conmigo. Tu casa recordará esta sentencia. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Voy a callar. Voy on any lord. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Sí, pues. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here, the bracer of the sentinel, the badge of office. Tonight is your Boy. first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Tomaré la decisión correcta porque soy el, el amo de esta casa. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Hmm. Pues casi que igual elijo al tío de Gareth, al Tattel ese Tattel. Al Duncan, ¿no? Se llamaba, me parece. Este es majo, es buen tío. Y mira este cómo nos mira. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Sí. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. What do you think of Sir Royland? Do you trust him? He's a fine like warrior, my lord, but he's nowhere near ready to serve a sentinel. I do not trust him. He's likely to lose his temper and get us all killed, and at the worst possible time. En eso Thank tiene you, razón. Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Vamos a hablar con el, el salvaje. Nuestra hermana que nos va a hacer caso. Nada, nuestra hermana pasa de nosotros como de la mía. Malcolm, ¿quién eres tú? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Ah, coño, Malcolm el hermano. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Wait, Uncle. You can't leave. We need you here. Especially now. Claro. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. That I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. Claro, I know tío. you. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. 
I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice, and I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Mm -hmm. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Ethan, I need to talk to you. A ver, hablaremos, hermana. Talia, ¿qué pasa, hija mía? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. ¿Por qué? I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. I... I Desearía que Padre here. estuviera aquí. You all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. No sé yo, eh? I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. ¿Y si la nombramos a ella? Venga, vamos a hablar con el Chuck Norris. Sword up. Swing left. Barry. Wrong. I did not dodge the old sword. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Necesito un centinela. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Don't cagas Tuttle on. Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. En eso tienen razón. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Claro que sí. Me largo. Uy, 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 uy. Vamos a... A tomar por saco. Maestre, hablar. Venga, vamos al consejo. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Sí, Estoy listísimo. Sí. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. ¿Quién será el centinela? Yo creo que voy a nombrar a Royland de Gore. O a la hermana, si puedo nombrar, si sale la hermana la nombro a ella. Estoy muy loco. Estoy muy loco. Si sale la hermana, la nombro a Talia. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, 
This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Y si no eliges a nadie, a ver. Dáselo a su madre. Yo se lo voy a dar a Royland, lo siento. Toma. Sir Roland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. <risa> Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Logro desbloqueado, Lord de What do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can asust. handle Ramsey Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody nah. suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council. Deja hablar a Duncan. Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan. Hello? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is, and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Matarlos. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help. ¿Qué recomiendas, mother? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Chair, yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough. Joder, tío, nunca sé qué elegir, por favor. Yo. Nos van a matar igual. Yo, yo creo, vamos, es que no lo sé. Qué tensión. Uh... Lucharemos. Venga. Morir moriremos, pero por lo menos sea con las armas en alto. But our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? Sí. My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? Eso es lo que haré. I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Sí. 
Siéntate tranquilo ahí, hombre. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Aquí todo el mundo dando consejos a tope. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. <laughs> There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Get us, get us, Lord, if he returns. Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. Y eso es cierto. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> Joder. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts. And we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. A ver, hijo, ¿tú qué? I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Malcolm puede ir a Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Lady Forrester recordará eso. Thank you, Ethan. De nada, mamá. I'm mama. glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. No sé yo. No sé yo si nos ayudará mucho. Hmm. Aposentos de Lady Marjorie. Bueno gente, yo creo que esto es un buen momento para dejar el episodio de hoy eh, No sé cuánto le quedará al capítulo 1 Al capítulo 1 me refiero de, de, de lo que es la el Game of Thrones este Pero bueno, yo creo que poco quedará ya eh, Tenemos que reunirnos al final con Ramsay Hemos nombrado Centinela a Royland de Gore Aunque a, a Duncan Tatel, el tío de Gareth, no le ha molado nada ni la ha demolado ni, ni una mierda, vamos a hablar claro. Pero bueno, como bien dicen ahí, necesitamos gente de acción. Así que veremos cómo, cómo acontece el siguiente, el siguiente episodio. Y nada, lo que os digo siempre. Eh, un like si os ha gustado el vídeo, un dislike si no. Tenéis la cajetilla de comentarios para poner lo que queráis. Y nada, nos vemos en el siguiente episodio. Cuidaros mucho. Chao, chao.